Brendan Egan, Director of Parks and Recreation, coming to you from beautiful Wildwood Park for the third installment of the Parks and Recreation Review in coordination with BCAT. This week, we're going to focus on our parks maintenance staff and look at some of the jobs and tasks that they have throughout the summer and throughout the year. Um, some of these jobs never end. Um, we're going to talk with the trash crew and the cutting crew and talk to them about what it is that they do every day and their responsibilities for making Burlington look great. So sit back, relax for the next couple minutes. You're going to be enjoying the sights and sounds of the Burlington Parks and Recreation Department maintenance staff. And who knows, we might even get a quick shot of Paul Ganley. All right, we're here at the Center School um, behind the Parks and Recreation Department with AJ Forty, one of our park maintenance craftsmen um, who runs the cutting crews in the summer. Um, AJ, tell us a little bit about uh, your daily routine. So my routine, mostly we have these small mowers. We get in those tight areas that the big mowers that we have in our fleet can't get to. I mean, a lot of our job, too, consists of weed whacking. I have two great summer kids that work with me and they really helped me out a lot, it's very nice. <laughs> That's good, so um, you talked about some of the smaller, more versatile mowers that we have in our, in our fleet, and uh, you're able to get out around, around uh, fences and around the buildings a little tighter than the big mowers and a lot around some of the trees. There's a lot of that out there in town, isn't there? Yeah, there's a lot of parks. I mean, we take care of obviously the parks. I mean, there's a ton of baseball fields, all those type of fields, playgrounds, the town buildings. I mean, it's kind of nice doing what we're doing because we can look back at the end of the day and see, oh, wow, we cut that real nice. Ooh, that looks good. And then I'm sure people drive by and think the same thing. So at the end of the day, it's a pretty good feeling. They do a great job. So if you see the, the trim crew or any one of the other uh, maintenance craftsmen out there performing their work around town, make sure you stop and say thank you, um, especially if you appreciate the work they do like, like I do. So thank you, AJ. Thanks for stopping by. All right, we're here at Wildwood Park. We caught up with uh, one member of the uh, trash and recycling crew that we have in the summer, uh, Paul Ganley. How are you, Paul? Fine, great, good summer. Good summer, great. So Paul has worked for the department for? 38 years. And he's shared in both the program division and the maintenance division. What is the uh, big task daily for you guys? Uh, picking up after the dogs. People uh, don't always uh, follow the rules when it comes to dog uh, waste, so we do a lot of work picking up dogs. All right, how do you? How about the recycling? Do you find people are pretty good about recycling in our parks? Uh, some people are, some people aren't. Uh, some people throw things in the recycle bins that we can't recycle, and some people do it right. Paul, thanks for being a good sport and coming on with us and um, keeping our parks and, and uh, playgrounds and school and town buildings clear of trash and recycling. Thank you, Paul. You're welcome. Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Park and Rec Review on BCAT. I'd like to thank AJ and Paul for taking a couple minutes out of their day to uh, speak with us. And I hope that you were able to get a little uh, snapshot of what the Parks and Recreation Maintenance staff uh, has ahead of them every day. So until next week, this is Brendan Egan signing off for another edition of the Parks and Rec Review. <laughs>